Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Saturday Showdown. Today we are opening four boxes of the brand new Tops Tier 1, which came out last week, and we have 12 contestants. The way this works, it's a good old-fashioned box war. Whoever pulls the lowest numbered card out of all four of these boxes will win all of the cards. So we have a grand total of 12 spots available 11 out of 12 spots will lose, and one lucky person will go home with, oh, about $800 worth of cards. These are around $200 per box and up on the big website, Steel City Collectibles, and Blowout Cards. So, the way this is going to work is we are going to run a randomizer to determine where our participants fall in the break. So, I'm going to officially get this underway by slicing open the first box which means we can't turn back now. So here we go. First box is up. And now let's show you where the folks will fall. So let me zoom in on the randomizer way back there. You can see all uh, 12 participants' names are typed in. We're just going to use a random pack of just good old 91 Studio. The first card off the top, whatever the one's digit is, that's how many times I'll randomize it. All right, so that card is going to be this beautiful-looking Brett Butler, and the randomization number is going to be one time. So I'm going to randomize this list once, and then I will show you where everyone falls, and we will get started. All right, so this is the list. Joshua will be our first uh, person, then James, then Chip, then Brian, Eric, Adam, Brian Z, Brian S, Dan T, Dan T again, back-to-back, -back, then Mark A and Randall B. That is our order for today. Uh, all right, so let's get started. Let's go back down here to the Tier 1. And here we go, good old-fashioned box war. Now, just a couple little rules and regulations for this particular box war is there is a chance of finding redemption cards, which have no numbers on them. I told the folks on Patreon, if that happens, we're just going to skip over it. It doesn't count as a card because it's not going to have a number on there. Sometimes uh, they might say like bronze ink or whatever, which is out of 25, but we don't know exactly what that number out of 25 would be. And it's the first number that counts. So we'll just skip those. It might mean we only get 11 total cards that count. If that happens, I'll just refund the 12th person, which in this case would be Randall. Also, there might be extra cards in these boxes. Some boxes may have four total cards in them. If that happens and we have 13 or 14 total cards from this break, then the 13th and 14th card won't count. And uh, those will just be tossed into whoever um, has the lowest number card out of spots 1 through 12. So with all that said, let's get started. Our first contestant is Josh F, so Josh, you are first up, and we started your box. Here we go. You're going to get the first card off of the top. Just going to stack these other ones to make some room for us. All right, so best of luck to you, Josh. I'm going to use a spacer here. Hopefully, we find some good stuff. These are out of that same case, that legendary third tier one case that we had uh, in our break that produced a lot of great Hall of Famers and uh, major stars. We pulled... A beautiful looking, um, not looking, uh, uh, we, found, we found a Mike Trout and Shohei Otani out of that case. Clear one autograph redemption. Then we follow that up by finding a Nolan Ryan autograph. And then the next pack we had a Jeff Bagwell. The next pack we had a Jim Rice. It was just hit after hit after hit of huge Hall of Famers. So Joshua, let's see if, uh, what you can find. Now you might find a big hit here, but it's not necessarily yours unless you have the lowest numbered card. That's what matters. Okay, so here we go. Our first card of the video is going to be a... Let's see if we can keep the hits coming from that legendary third case. It's going to be a Baltimore Oreo. And it's going to be Cal Ripken Jr. out of 42. So what a case that third case was. Number 42 of 50. A beautiful... On card, Cal Ripken Jr. So, the way this works for the box war is card number 42 is now the magic number. Once somebody finds a card lower than 42, they will take possession of all of the cards of this video. And I know Josh is probably hoping that that, well, I know he's hoping that doesn't happen. Uh, Josh, you are currently our leader. Check out the gorgeous looking uh, Cal Ripken Jr. on card auto from Tops Tier 1. There's the back of the card 
All right, so Joshua, you are our leader right now. And spot number two, that one goes to James T. So James, let's get your name on the screen. You've got to beat 42. Uh, also, for this box, I can tell you, I can see the other cards in here, and there is no redemption, which is good news, and also there's not four cards either. So, James, here we go. We might need a fourth card if we do find a redemption eventually. James looking for a number less than 42 to defeat Joshua and take control of all the cards. All right, so you have a San Diego Padres game-used relic. It looks like it's going to be Andres Munoz. And the thing that matters here is the number. And how about that? Wouldn't you know it? It's out of 25. So, James, you are now our leader. It's just going to be a matter of how low that number is. Is it going to be 1 of 25? If so, it's going to be very, very tough to defeat you. And if you do pull a 1 out of 25 and somebody else pulls a 1 out of 5 or whatever, the tiebreaker is the second number, so the 1 out of 5 would take control. Let's see what you have. Andres Munoz, 4 of 25. A beautiful-looking Andres Munoz. This card is probably only worth, like, I don't know, 5 to $10, if that. But, James, it gives you control of the Cal Ripken Jr. and also control of everything else. Joshua has been eliminated, and now the top card is James Andres Munoz with the number four. So, James, the uh, leader right now. Congratulations on that. Next up, spot number three from the randomizer is Chip. Best of luck to you, Chip. Let's see what you can find. you got to beat four. Let's first take a look at the card. It is a... I can tell you it's going to be a Lourdes Guriel Jr. based off of what I've seen. And uh, unfortunately, it's going to be tough odds on this one. It's out of 299. And that's not going to get it done. 167 of 299. A nice looking card. A great box with the Cal Ripken Jr. This one goes in James Pyle. And Chip has been eliminated along with Josh so far in this Saturday showdown. All right, so first box was a hit. Let's see if we can continue it going and see if anybody can defeat four, which uh, currently is the lowest numbered um, Saturday showdown card that we've ever had in the leader spot. So it might be a tough order, but this is a high-end product. We have pulled cards out of 10 and out of 25 uh, throughout these boxes. Next up is Brian T. So Brian, you have spot number four. Let's see what we can find for you. And let's start our next box Best of luck to you and also everybody else coming up here. If you'd like to get in on a Saturday showdown or any of our live case breaks, make sure you check out my Patreon page. I'll link it in the description to this video. It's $3 per month, 10 cents a day to have access to all of our breaks. And we have a real doozy of a week coming up. I've got diamond icons that I'm planning on doing on Tuesday for you guys. I've got Prism, which is brand new, planning on doing that on Wednesday. And we also have three more releases coming out. We've got Top's Finest, we've got Pro Debut, and Big League next week. So tons of new releases. Um, if you want to get in on any of those, make sure you check out my Patreon page. I'll be posting them throughout the coming week. So here we go, our next box. Brian is up right now. Let's go ahead and take our spacer and put it on the top and see if we can continue the ridiculous hits. So, Brian... This is a three-card box. You have the first one out of here. It is going to be, it's a J.D. Martinez autograph. So the number that's going to matter is going to be the first number here. You need to beat 004. And you almost did it, 008. So any other Saturday showdown, that would be a very, very strong contender. 008, J.D. Martinez, not quite enough to beat 04. So, Brian has been eliminated as well, and that card goes into James Stack. He is um, in control of the uh, quote-unquote board right now. Eric is up next. Eric, best of luck to you. You have the Relic. Now, the Relic um, in the first box ended up being a big winner there, and it's, it's continuing to lead the way. Let's see if you can find a nice low-numbered Relic as well. All right, so your card, it's going to be, it's a Detroit Tigers uh, player there. It's going to be Jake Rogers. You need to beat uh, zero 04, so let's see where that number is. And, uh, well, that's going to be kind of tough, 395. So, Eric, you have <laughs> a really, really slim chance here of beating zero 004. Uh, extremely microscopic. 
and you almost actually did it. 0.26, uh, a nice um, low number there, 0.26, but not enough to beat 0 0.4. So that one also goes into James Pyle, and Eric has been eliminated. Our next contestant is Brian Z in spot number six. No, check that, Adam L in spot number six. Uh, Brian Z is seven. Brian S is number eight. Eight. Then we got Dan twice in 9 and 10. Then it's Mark A in spot 11 and Randall in spot 12. All right, Adam, so you have spot number six. Here we go. Let's see what we can find for you. Got to beat 04. So you're probably hoping for one of those silver ink parallels. It's going to be a Josh Hader, uh, and it looks like he's actually pitching. We pulled at least two of his cards where he was batting. Um, and as you know, Josh Hader doesn't really ever bat because he is a top notch closer. Let's look for the... A number it is going to be out of 299 tough order once again can he get a four or less it is going to be 224 so the josh hater also goes in james stack so adam you've been eliminated thank you very much james probably feeling a little bit confident right now um he's halfway through the gauntlet with two boxes left to go. And next up in spot number seven is Brian Z. So we got a brand new box for Brian and also for Brian S and Dan T coming out of this box. Here we go. Let's see what we can find for you guys. All right. Nice single silver pack in here. Let's hope there's another big Hall of Famer. So far, the biggest hit so far has been that beautiful Cal Ripken Jr. auto. But for the showdown purposes, for box war purposes, the best card has obviously been the Andres Munoz. So, Brian, you got to find a nice low number here. Let's get that little spacer on top and see what we can do for you all right so your card it is going to be how about a ronald acuna jr brian is probably really hoping that this is a low numbered card let's find the number on it it is a silver ink which is a really low number silver ink is out of 10 so brian this card will be numbered out of 10 and you need it to obviously beat a Four. If it's a four or less, you are in control. It is numbered out of 10. The number on the card is 10. So that's not going to do it. And this card also goes in James Pyle. Brian's so close. But Andres Munoz, literally the worst card of the night so far, is uh, standing up tall because of that number on there. Four out of 25. A gorgeous Ronald Acuna Jr. out of 10. Also going in James Pyle. Brian has been eliminated. Next up, spot number eight is for Brian S. Best of luck to you, Brian S. Let's see, let's see what we can find for you here. You're going to have the relic of the box. Now, some of those relics are low numbered. Some are high numbered. Let's find out what you have here. Uh, first of all, it's going to be, well, we showed it. It's out of 145. That's going to eliminate you. But the card is going to be a beautiful looking A-Rod from the Legend set. I love this Legend set. We pulled a Babe Ruth bat relic out of this Legend set in the break. Uh, 145 of 199. Nice looking A-Rod right there. Young A-Rod from his heyday with the Seattle Mariners also going in James Stack. Brian, thank you very much. You, however, have been eliminated. Can anyone beat that number four? Dan's going to give it a try. He's got the last card in this box, spot number nine. And he also has spot number ten, the first card out of the next box. So, Dan, let's see what we can do for you. You have yourself a... An autograph of Alex Young, which is not the greatest auto, but you got to find a really low number. Let's go ahead and tease you here a little bit and see what it's out of first. Well, that's terrible. It's out of 299, so really low chance there. So you got to find some, you got to find a zero to have some hope. Let's go. We have a zero, so now you're going to need another zero. We've got a second zero for Dan. So, Dan, you've got a good shot here, about a 40% shot. Can he find a number one, two, or three to take control? Dan has 
A number five, he just missed it. Number five of 299. So close. But this card also goes in James' pile as James has number four, which is still standing up. And Dan, unfortunately, uh, you just missed it by one. Any other Saturday showdown, that might have been enough to do it. So Dan's got one more go at it right here. Spot number 10. Then Mark has spot 11. And Randall has spot number 12 in the Saturday showdown. A good old-fashioned box war is on our hands right now. And um, that one was really close. Andres Munoz, the hero of this box war for James. James sitting on the edge of his seat right now somewhere, hoping that we don't find a one-of-one. Or something out of five even would be a pretty darn good shot at knocking him out right now. So here we go. Dan, spot number 10. You've got the first card out of our last box. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoy this video, the Saturday Showdown. And uh, Dan has, unfortunately, a redemption card. So the rules are as follows. I stated them at the outset. If we have a redemption, it means that... Uh, we are going to skip over that card, and uh, it will still go in the stack. It will go in James' stack, but um, Dan will receive the next card, so Dan's going to get the 10th card out of the box. That also means because there's only two other cards in here, Randall, unfortunately, is not going to get to play today. Randall, you will be receiving a full refund via PayPal at the conclusion of this video. Sorry about that, Randall. That's just the way it goes. I was hoping that at least one of these boxes would have four cards, but it didn't happen. I was also hoping they wouldn't have a redemption. So we do have a redemption. Let's see who it would have been. It's just going to get thrown into the stack for James. It would have been a Buster Posey and Will Clark dual auto. How about that one for a nice one? A dual autograph of Posey and Clark. Gets tossed into James Stack as well. So, Danny, I got another shot here, and then it's Mark, and then that's it. Can anyone knock off Andres Munoz? Literally the worst card of the day. Dan, you've got the Relic in uh, hand right now. It's going to be a nice Orioles Relic. It's Oh, it's John Means, so this is a, kind of a crappy Relic. I actually pulled this exact same Relic for myself. Whenever I was in the Tier 1 break, I got randomized into the um, middle spot of the box, which is always a relic, and I got a John Means. And let's find out what it's going to be. Uh, fortunately, a crap card. Really bad luck for Dan on the last time. Sorry about that, Dan. Uh, this crappy John Means card. It's numbered, though, out of 5, which out of 25... It's numbered out of 25. Dan, you've got a shot here again. So Dan missed by one previously, and he's coming back at James one more time. Can Dan stand tall and take him out? Let's see. He needs a number 03 or less. If it's an 04 and they're both out of 25, we are going to have a good old-fashioned coin flip on the channel, which has never happened before, to see who gets the card. Let's see what it is. It is going to be out of 25. You need a zero to have any shot at winning it. And you have a zero. So it is zero something. Dan with a good shot. He came up short by one last time. This time, he takes the lead. It's number three of 25. James, after going through all of those spots with a strong number four, has been eliminated by Dan Dan had 0, 0, 005 before. Now he has 0, 03. James is out. The Andres Munoz goes into the general pile, and Dan takes the leaderboard thanks to John Means. 3 of 25 is our new champion or our new leader with one card left to go. So Dan with a great shot at winning it, unless. Mark, in the very final spot of this break, can unseat him. He needs a number three out of uh, 25 or less. Let's see if he can do it. Uh, the card it's going to be, it's going to be an autograph. And it is, I can tell you, it looks like it's, I see a nine there. So it's out of something nine. We'll go the other way to see what we have on our hands first. It's going to be a Domingo Leyva, 
And um, now let's check out the number because that's what matters right here. Um, it is going to be out of 299. It's going to be tough for Mark to unseat Dan. He needs a one or two out of 299 to do it. Otherwise, Dan takes home all $800 worth of cards here, four times $200 uh, dollars per box. Can Dan do it? Um, can Mark do it? We'll see. The number is six, 276. So Dan has, has prevailed. He came really close to winning on his first spot with number five, and he has taken it in the, uh, I guess, the ninth inning there. Uh, Dan, congratulations, Mark. Sorry about that. Thank you very much for participating, though. And Randall, apologies to you. You will get a refund since there was no 12th spot due to that pesky redemption card. Uh, we laid those ground rules ahead of time at the beginning of the video and also on the Patreon page for you guys. And uh, that was a possibility. So you get all of your um, money back, uh, Randall. And uh, Dan, you are the winner today. Thanks to this John Means $1 relic, 3 of 25. I was really mad when I pulled this card in the break. But uh, I know that Dan could not be happier. And um, <laughs> John Means carries the day and delivers you the Cal Ripken Jr. and all of the other autos today. So, Dan, congratulations. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Also, please like the video and check out my Patreon page in the description. If you'd like to buy into any of our breaks coming up this week, we've got a whole bunch of them. And those will be going on sale very soon. Uh, lots of spots available for everybody. So thank you so much. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And I will see you all tomorrow. Congratulations, Dan.